you know, many people wonder whether 3D printing has uh, reached its peak, whether this is a hype cycle that's now at its uh, maximum. But really, uh, I think uh, we've only seen the tip of the iceberg of this technology. What we've done here is basically uh, print a consumer electronic device, a very simple electronic device. But uh, what we're trying to do is to move 3D printing away from just printing passive parts made of plastic or metal to printing uh, integrated systems, active systems that can do something. They have batteries, uh, wires, electronics in them. So what we've done here is use two different printers to do two different parts of the print job. But uh, it's possible uh, to foresee that, that in the not so distant future, you'll have one printer capable of working with multiple materials, multiple processes, all in one print job. So one of the challenges uh, in uh, printing electronic systems is really a material science challenge. You can load up the printer with lots of materials, but the challenge is, can, are these materials mutually compatible? Can you have conductors uh, be printed at the same time as non-conductors? Can you have batteries printed? Can you have electronic transistors uh, be printed all at the same time? So it's a, uh, it's a little bit like a color printer that can print with uh, a couple of primary materials that combine together to give you lots of shades of color. With multi-material 3D printing, we'll be able to combine lots of different materials to create uh, new things, new functionalities, new material properties that we haven't seen before.